Hello everyone, my name is Andrew and I'm with Pure Resonance Audio and today we're going to be talking about how to determine how many speakers you can put on a given amplifier. So when we're designing systems uh, for customers, this is a, a big question we get. They have an amplifier that they have selected on our website, they really like it, the features, the inputs available, and they say, how many speakers can I put on this amp? When we're talking through uh, the design stage with our customers, I like to first talk about the application before we get into the proper amplifier and the number of speakers you can have on the amplifier. It's important to know the application um, because different speakers are used for different applications. Um, maybe we need a smaller speaker for sound masking that doesn't have a lot of output, or maybe we need a, a larger speaker that has uh, much more output for foreground music applications or stadium systems, whatever the case may be. Um, so I like to think of it as, what's the application? What speaker is appropriate for the application? And then we can pair the amplifier according to those things. So we're going to talk a little bit about this speaker in front of us. This is our C5 uh, 4-inch in-ceiling speaker. It can be used for uh, sound masking applications and background music. And we're going to go through a scenario of, of how to determine how many speakers you can have on a given amplifier. So let's say I have um, a doctor's office and I'm adding background music to the space. Um, after looking at a floor plan, we've determined that 10 speakers is needed for the hallways. The, the lobby, the restrooms, whatever the case may be. So we have 10 speakers needed. Each speaker um, has different specs. They have different sensitivity, which basically determines the, the total output the speaker provides. Um, it has uh, a transformer with different wattage tap settings. I'm gonna show you here on the back. Um, there's a transformer back here with different 70 volt uh, wattage tabs. And what that means is Essentially, in short, the, the higher you tap a speaker, the louder it can get, the louder its capability. And so on this particular speaker, this speaker has a 2.5 watt tap setting, a 5 watt tap setting, and a 10 watt tap setting. Depending on the application, it may be appropriate to tap these at 2.5 watts, or it may be appropriate to tap these at 10 watts. Let's go back to the scenario. Doctor's office, we have 10 speakers. Um, they just want light background music, and we've determined, based off of their needs, that uh, 5 watts is going to be plenty um, coming out of these speakers. Uh, what we do is we take the total amount of speakers, in this case it's 10, we multiply it by our 70 volt transformer tap setting, which we've determined is five in this case. So 10 times five is 50 watts. Um, so now we can go into what's an appropriate amplifier for this application. We have 50 watts total. We want to leave ourselves headroom so we're not pushing the system. If we want to go and turn it up, we don't want to maximize that. And so in this case, um, we have different amplifier options that could work, but in this case, um, maybe a 120 watt amplifier would be just fine. We have a 60 watt amplifier, but it's not leaving us much headroom. The general rule of thumb is to leave about 20% headroom, um, just, just to protect the system so you're not overworking it and that you can potentially add to the system if maybe they want to add a couple speakers later on down the road. So that's kind of how I want to think about it. What's the application? How many speakers do we need? What's the appropriate speaker? How high are we going to tap these speakers to get the desired output? And then we can determine the amplifier from there. So that's kind of how I want to think about it. Not, hey, I like this amplifier. How many speakers can I put on it? We kind of want to rethink that and start from appropriate application, appropriate speaker, and then determine the wattage necessary out of the amplifier. I know that's a lot, but if you have any additional questions, please give us a call. We'll be happy to walk you through it. We'll be happy to design a system for you and put the exact equipment in place uh, that'll fit the needs of your space. Until next time, thanks for joining us.